Hi, I'm Shravni. In this video, I tell you about the Intel DPC++ compatibility tool and how to use it. This video will help you understand the workflow and simplicity of the tool with the help of an example. The Intel DPC++ compatibility tool assists in the migration of a developer's program written in CUDA to a program written in Data Parallel C++, which is based on modern C++ and incorporates portable industry standards such as Sickle. The DPC++ programming model will be familiar if you've used kernel-based programming. The tool helps you perform a one-time only source-to-source -source migration of both kernels and API calls. The migration is aided by inline comments for parts of code which could not be migrated automatically and its usage is simplified by command line tools and IDE plugins. After migration, the user can use the complementary Intel DPC++ compiler in order to compile their code. Let's look at the user flow with this tool. First, we start with an application written in CUDA. The tool transforms 80 to 90% of the code and the remaining 10 to 20% may have to be manually edited to finalize the source. Please note that the tool may migrate lower than 80% or higher than 90% of the original code depending on the workload. You then review the final code Compile using the Intel DPC++ compiler and tune with the Intel Advisor and Intel VTune profiler for desired performance. Here is a vector add program written in CUDA. We can see that it allocates three float vectors DA, DB and DC on the graphic device, runs a vector add kernel which performs the addition of DA and DB and stores the result in DC. In order to access the result on the host CPU, memory copy is performed to transfer the result from the device to the float vector allocated on the host. Using a simple command line of the Intel DPC++ compatibility tool, followed by the source file name, the code is migrated to DPC++. We omitted some code here to give you a brief overview. Iteration space enumeration thread idx.x is migrated to the work item and the get local ID of the work item. The CUDA malloc, memcopy and free APIs are migrated to DPC++ APIs for memory operations. The sickle kernel called code is auto-generated. You can now build and run this with the Intel DPC++ compiler using the same compilation commands as other DPC++ source files and custom QNet for your target accelerator. Now let's look at the command line usage of the tool. For a single file, it is as simple as providing the file as an input to the tool. In more complex projects, the code workflow depends on factors that are determined at build time. For example, the command line options dash D or dash I. To know the options, the tool is provided with the intercept build script that could generate a database of compilation commands of the original project named compilecommands.json file. This script supports make and cmake projects. Next, you can input the path to the database file with the dash p option together with the in root for the root directory of the project that contains original source CUDA files and out root to be the destination of the generated DPC++ files. Sometimes the generated DPC++ source needs a manual edit. For example, CUDA API uses return value to indicate errors, while Sickle uses try-catch exception style. For this kind of migration, the Intel DPC++ compatibility tool adds comments in the generated code to indicate that some manual edit is needed. Keep in mind that the tool is being improved, so you might see some differences in the migrated code with the latest releases. The Intel DPC++ compatibility tool will help you migrate your CUDA code to DPC++ and we hope you find it useful. Follow the links for more resources to guide you through the migration to a portable heterogeneous programming model data parallel C++. You can try the tool out for yourself by downloading the Intel One API based toolkit. Thanks for watching.